So one of the most requested topics on the channel is how well does the Microsoft Office suite of products work with the new iPadOS 16 update, especially with Stage Manager? So if that is a question that you guys have, this is going to be the video for you. We are going to be going over the main products of the Microsoft suite. So we're going to be going over Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and Microsoft Teams. Yes, Microsoft Teams. And we're going to see how it works in iPadOS 16. This is not going to be a full review of those applications specifically, but more so how they're working with the new Stage Manager mode in iPadOS 16 and with the new multitasking and things of that nature. So without further ado, let's talk about Microsoft Office 365 on iPadOS 16 on the M1 iPad Pro. Let's get into it. So let's get started with this video everybody. Just to preface everything, we are rocking iPadOS 16.0 Developer Beta 1, so we're on that P moniker right there, just so you guys are aware. So everything that I'm going to be talking about is still in that Beta 1 situation, which means a lot of it is going to be broken, but not because of Microsoft products, but because of what Apple is doing on the Beta side. It's still very, very early, and we're at least two to maybe three months away from getting this release to the entire public. So that is that preface, and then also we are on the M1 12.9 inch baseline model iPad Pro without cellular. So we got 128 gigs, eight gigs of RAM, and like I said, that M1 processor in order to give us that stage manager mode. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the four main ones that everybody's been wanting to see. So Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, and then also Microsoft Teams. And I know a lot of people have questions about Microsoft Teams, and I'm hoping to answer those questions in this video today. So we're gonna be going over these products, but not from the application side themselves and from a feature standpoint, but mostly to see how it works inside of iPadOS 16 versus actually doing a full review of the product. So you can see that Stage Manager mode, I just turned it off. Now we're gonna turn it back on and kind of see exactly how it works, how it functions. Let's start with Microsoft Excel and see what we got going on. So you can see it opens up pretty normally. It opens up in that Stage Manager view and you can you know resize it as you see fit move it around, make it smaller, make it longer, you know, whatever you want to do, it works as advertised and we're good to go. So let's open it up a little bit more and see what we got going on. So in terms of your hotkey shortcuts, you know, your control C will work everywhere. So you can do all that. And then again, you can see that up here, these are, you know, formulas. So this is a sum formula. If you double click on it, you could get to see exactly what's being used inside of that formula. So all very self-explanatory, and I've had countless reviews of these products inside of my other videos with iPadOS 15 and 14. So from a function standpoint, it works exactly like it does before. So you got the cursor support, you have the ability to draw, you have your formula section, your data section, your review section, everything works exactly how it did before. But what I wanna do is see how it works in terms of multitasking, right? Can you have multiple instances of Microsoft Excel in the same view? If we click on the three dots right here, you can see that we have this plus button. This plus button allows you to go out and open up another application, but you can see that it's a little bit broken. So normally, if I don't choose Microsoft Excel, so let's go back into here and pick a non-Excel product, so let's go with Microsoft Word, you can see that it opens right here. So that does open, you can have you know two different Microsoft products. But again, if we get out of here, let's get out, let's go back into the control center, turn off stage manager mode, go into Microsoft Excel, let's get rid of Microsoft Word here, and if I wanna open up another Microsoft Excel, I can in that same instance as before. So let's open up another Microsoft Excel. Then you have another one right here, which is awesome. Let's open up a random one right here. Let's open up another one. So let's go into the app shelf and open up a couple more instances. So now we have four total instances. So you can see that we can have multiple Excel products and you're gonna be able to use them in stage manager mode. So if we go into here, while you're in Excel, go into stage manager mode. You can see that it does open up. So now we have two Excels. We can grab this other one right here and we can grab this other one here. So now we have four different Excel files running at the same time that we can resize. We can move around if we want to. You know, so we have four different ones working simultaneously, but for some reason we are in beta one and things are working exactly how they should. We should have the ability to just go into this little toolbar right here into the three dots press this and then be able to open up another one as opposed to leaving stage manager mode and then coming back to stage manager mode in order to have multiple instances of the same application. So in terms of moving data around, it works just as you thought you think it would. So I can grab this, control C it, go to another one over here, you know, paste it over here, which is nice. So being able to manipulate data across applications like you would on a normal laptop and a normal desktop experience does work. It's just a matter of Apple tweaking everything to make sure that it does work correctly. Because I'm sure right now, Apple in the back of their mind, I'm sure they wanna give us the ability to open up another one if we so please, instead of having to leave stage manager mode and then come back into stage manager mode to have multiple Excel files running. So that is Microsoft Excel, it works as advertised. One thing that I do wanna show you guys is actually quitting stuff out and multitasking is a little bit weird. 
you see it kind of breaks up a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't let you quit out of it. So that's a little bit annoying. You have to like quit out of the application in a certain order. Another little tweak that you guys should take into account if you are considering going to iPad OS 16. But let's go again, let's go into Microsoft Word this time. So Microsoft Word, it'll open. And again, if you are in Stage Manager mode and you wanna full screen it while still in Stage Manager, just pull on that little, I didn't even know what to call that, the little corner over there to open it up fully. And you can see that we can grab whatever we want, open it as we please, it's creating it from a template. So overall, it works the same way that it would with iPadOS 15 from a function standpoint. So you have all your normal tabs, you know, you have the ability to have your cursor right here, delete stuff, copy it, control C, control V, double click, control X to cut, you know, all your hotkeys still work and then you have the ability to insert tables, draw stuff with your Apple Pencil. So if I wanna grab this, I don't wanna draw with touch, I wanna draw with my pencil, you can do that put that back up there and then you can grab that and move it around as if it's an image or resize it whatever the case may be so it works well and it works pretty like it's pretty stable like I haven't had it crash at all which is nice to see but if I want to you know multitask again so let's make it small and if we try to again open another instance of that application it kind of breaks down and it just reopens the last version of that application so in order to get multiple Microsoft Word files going at the same time or instances of it you got to go into control center you got to turn off stage manager mode. You got to click on your three dots. You got to open up a new instance in another instance. If you want to have a few of them, go back into control center, hit stage manager mode. And then you see that they're open over here. So you have to drag them from the shelf all the way over here. And then you have, you know, your multiple Microsoft Word documents running at the same time. That is the case that we have right now. I know it's a weird workaround and I'm hoping Apple fixes it relatively soon. And I'm sure they will because this is not how it's supposed to run. And then between Tuesday and Thursday of this upcoming week, we'll get beta two, which hopefully fixes a few of these issues and these little nuances that we start to notice as we move forward. Because this to me is the ultimate test of if this is really a gimmick in terms of a feature when it comes to stage manager, or if it's really a productivity tool, because that is why I use a MacBook Air. Whenever I'm using my iPad Pro, I do about 95% of my work on the iPad Pro, and the only time I move to my MacBook Air is when I have multiple Word documents, you know, multiple Google Docs open at the same time, multiple PowerPoints, and I have to grab data from each of them, move them around in order to get what I need to get done. But it does seem to work, so if I, again, if I grab this, we'll control C it, if I wanna move it into here, let's delete that, we'll move that data over here, it seems to work totally fine, it works how you want it to work, I can zoom in and out with this. I'm also using my MX Anywhere S2. So I like to work with both of these in conjunction just because it works a little bit better for me. But you see that the scroll wheel is working. So I'm moving the scroll wheel, it works. And you can even right click if I want to copy it over here, go to my other Word document, you know, press enter, enter, and then control V. Then the image is right there and it works how it's supposed to work. So I like the steps that we're taking forward with iPadOS 16. It's just a matter of making sure that the little things are working so I don't have to take 10 extra steps in order to do something that should take just one step. Now let's move on to Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's click on this guy. Let's open up Microsoft PowerPoint, see what's going on. So let's open up a random presentation right here. And there it is, it's all loaded up. And you can see how fast that these things open. We're still in beta, you know, we're running it on the iPad and everything works exactly how you want it. So you can add multiple slides if you want to. And what you can do is you can actually grab one of your Word documents, move it over here. And if you have all this stuff that you wanna put in the text, you're good to go, right? Same thing with this right here. If I wanna copy it right here, Go to another one of my files right here, another one of my slides, control V it. You can see that the image does pop up right there, which is beautiful to see. So I love the ability that now I can manipulate multiple things at the same time. The only thing is again, if I wanna have another PowerPoint presentation open, gotta go in here. Ideally, you wanna be able to grab it from there, but no, you can't. You gotta go into control center. Let's turn off stage manager mode again. Let's click on the three dots. We gotta add another one into the shelf, another one into the shelf. Let's go back in here, turn on stage manager mode and then you can grab it over here, and then you have multiple instances of that same application. So you have two Microsoft PowerPoints, and I'll even add this one over here, because this is the one we were working on. And then again, if I wanna grab the data from this Word document and put it into the title, because I wanna have a super long title and I'm annoying, boom, it does work. So overall, the function is there, the function is getting there overall, but I like the direction that we're going, like I mentioned earlier, it's just a matter of Apple fixing a couple things as the betas get iterated on, and I'm excited to see how far they're gonna get with iPadOS 16 once a public beta is released, which should release in the next three to four weeks in my opinion. Okay, so now let's talk about the app that you guys have been waiting for probably the entire video, which is Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams, it opens up like normal and we're gonna test out two main things. I actually have my MacBook Air to the right over here, which you guys can see, and we're gonna to try to video chat and show you guys two things. One thing that I wanna show off is how does it work when you have multiple applications running when you are video chatting? Does the video cut out? Does the audio cut out? Because normally with the rest of the iPadOS iterations, video cuts out the second you leave the application. And then number two, what I wanna test out is 
How does screen share work? Does screen share work well? That's one thing that I actually haven't tested. I did test the audio video already, but I'm gonna show you guys live. So let's go into Microsoft Teams. Let's go into a meet. Let's do a meet now. I'm gonna invite myself, copy meeting link. I'm pasting it onto the MacBook Air. We're gonna open Microsoft Teams there. I'm gonna start this meeting. So you can see that we do have video, we have audio. I'm not gonna turn on the audio because you're gonna get a weird kind of mess around. So now if I join with my MacBook Air, it should take a second. Got a view in the lobby, allow them to join in. So admit all. So here you can see that we have video going twofold. I have it on my MacBook Air moving over here and I'm talking to myself on my iPad Pro over here. Center stage is working as you guys can see down there. So that's great to see. So now if I wanna grab, let's say, you guys can see that I have my like app shelf over here to the left. If I wanna grab Microsoft Word and pull it over here, as you guys can see, video does cut out sadly. So if I go over here, and show you guys what's going on with the MacBook Air, you can see that over here, my video has cut out. So we're still in the same predicament that we were before in terms of whenever you pull up another multitasking window, regardless of what you're doing, whether it's in regular multitasking mode or in the new stage manager view, it does get cut out. So if I multitask and we quit out of the Microsoft Word, does it come back at least? Yes, it does come back, so that's good to see. Eh, which is still kind of annoying. Apple should allow us to be able to use video calls and not get blanked out when you do move to another application. The next thing I wanna see is exactly how screen sharing works. So if I click on this thing, let's go share screen, start broadcast. Again, you can see that the video cuts out immediately when you start the screen share, but you can see that over here, we do have the actual screen going. So if I grab one of these over here, move it over, it does allow you to see exactly what's going on. It's just a matter of your video won't be turned on, your audio will work, but you can pull in as many as you want, right? It works just like it would with the four applications. It is moving stuff around, let's open it, not now. Open up one of these templates and move around. So screen sharing works, I mean, how it's advertised to work normally, but again, your video does cut out, which is a big, big miss on the Microsoft Teams and the iPadOS 16 side. So unfortunately, Microsoft Teams doesn't work how we want it to quite yet. Let's hope that Apple releases that so we can actually have a good experience when working remotely because that's the world we're in. So if, once I leave here and I start quitting out of those other applications, if it even lets me, see it's a little bit broken. Sometimes it doesn't really work, but now it's the only one on here. So video should get back on. Oh, I have to stop presenting, honestly. So stop presenting and then video should turn back on. If I press this video button, voila, there I am again. And then voila, there I am again with the video on. So sadly, as you guys can see, it doesn't work. So that is gonna wrap up this video, everybody. Like you saw, the Microsoft applications themselves work pretty much the same way as they did on iPadOS 15. So the stuff that you can do on those applications has not changed. Now, when it comes to stage manager mode, there are a couple of nuances that I'm thinking, again, this is the beta one, this is the developer beta one, so there's gonna be updates moving forward and a lot of them to really get everything solidified. But in the current state right now, there's still a couple nuances that need to be fixed. For instance, being able to multitask with multiple instances of the same application without having to leave stage manager mode and then go back into stage manager mode. So those are all different things that I'm sure Apple's gonna work on and tweak when it comes to these types of applications. And yes, you saw that with Microsoft Teams, we're still running with, into the same issue where if you leave the application, even if it is in that stage manager multitasking mode, your screen will go black, or at least your video output to the other side will go black. You can still talk, you won't be muted, you can still have audio going through it, but again, we're still running into that issue. And also, we didn't even try to go into secondary monitor support because again, with the beta one, it breaks everything. So the second you go into secondary monitor support and you start to move stuff around, it's kind of, it just doesn't work that well and it's not even worth sharing at this point because it's not gonna be a good representation of what Apple wants it to be moving forward. So for now, it does work, it works to a certain extent. You can have multiple instances in the floating window mode. So you can work with a bunch of different PowerPoint presentations and Excel documents and Word documents and move data and manipulate data around there. But it's not really until secondary monitor support gets really refined and starts to work how it's supposed to work that I'm really gonna consider this a real productivity and multitasking machine versus this stage manager mode being more of a, you know, a show off or a demo style situation or for lack of a better term, a gimmick. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comment sections down below so I know that you made it to the very end. And if you guys wanna see some more iPadOS 16 videos, click on one of these videos right here. But thanks so much for watching, and I'm out of here. Until next time.